Good morning, everybody. All right, we are Wednesday morning, and we are still doing the past or the post Sigzenda, I should say. So, um, well, listen, things are going very well. Things are going very well. Um, my hunger is not completely gone by any means, but it's very manageable. To be honest, it's actually it's actually pretty close to when I restarted Sigzenda. The feelings is pretty pretty identical, actually. Um, so let's talk about it. So breakfast, I skipped it. I was hungry yesterday morning, still uh, less than I have been, but still hungry. Um, now, and I keep in mind, we're just starting this off, right? Like I said, it usually takes a good two, three, three, maybe, maybe even four days until really you start settling into uh, to, to skipping your breakfast and all that. Um, so breakfast, I skipped it. Lunch, I actually ended up eating more than I normally would because, well, first off, because I was hungry, right? <laughs> That's number one. But not only that, but I'm trying to tweak a little bit my final diet all right so i still have a lot of weight to lose but if i'm gonna see this as a post exenda uh part of my journey <clears throat> i need to hone in i know what works i need to make some changes though to keep it more sustainable if you will and give me more energy and keep me full and all that so i'm going to be making some tweaks along the way all right, so what that means is normally at lunch, I would just have my shake. Well, I stepped it up. So I had my shake. Then I had my my toast with my protein peanut butter thing there. So that's 150 calories, both combined. The toaster, 120. The uh, powdered peanut butter is 30. So it's 150. So between that 150 plus 150 for my shake, that's 300. Then I had a handful, not even a handful, less than a handful of strawberries on the side. That's about 50 calories, that's 350. And then in the afternoon, around three o'clock, because uh, I know that I tend to, when I eat very little, I have problems going to the bathroom. I bought some uh, uh, Fiber One bars. Okay, Fiber One bars is 90 calories, let's say 100. So I had one of those around 2.30, 3 o'clock, which brings me to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 450. So I'm looking at 450 calories going into dinner uh, and I think that's pretty solid. I think that's pretty good. Um, I, are there any more tweaks I want to bring to that? I think so. I think there's still going to be a little more that I want to bring uh, protein-wise. I think I want to step up my protein to keep me fuller uh, a little bit longer, and I'll explain why. So 450 going into dinner. Dinner I had, again, my pizza. Uh, like I said, my, my wife made five of them. So uh, those five should be done within the next week. Okay, this doesn't mean I'm going to have five back to back. Like, for example, tonight I am not having my pizza. Tonight my wife is making um, a sp a spaghetti squash. Okay, so we use a squash to make the, uh, the pasta and then she makes a homemade sauce. That's probably going to be around the same calories as my pizza for a nice big bowl of spaghetti ish, right? Cooked well. The way, the way she cooks it, though, it's just it's every bit as good as normal spaghetti. I don't miss it. So that's good. Um, so going back to yesterday, so I had my pizza and that keep, it kept me full until about 7.30. Once I hit 7.30, I got pretty hungry, pretty hungry still. Um, now keep in mind, my, my wife normally doesn't make the pizzas. It's the first time she makes the pizzas, very kind of her. So I, you know, nothing to, uh, nothing but, uh, thankful for, for that. Uh, that being said, she doesn't make the pizza quite like, uh, I do where my mother does so uh, she she probably had half the portion of the vegetables that we normally put in there um, so again it's not her fault there she just she doesn't know next time it'll just be better uh, but because of that I felt like I still had I was still a little hungry like I was missing something so uh, I was trying to fight it because I, I don't want to eat after dinner but it was getting the best of me so once I realized it was getting the best of me uh, thankfully I knew that we always kind of keep healthy snacks in stock uh, in the freezer. So for example, my wife, she makes these, um, it's a dark chocolate with some a little bit of cocoa uh, and um, oats. So she makes these little balls, so it's, they're oats. 
Uh, yeah, is there maybe a, a little bit of honey in there? Whatever it is, it's really not much calories. I know it sounds like it could be a lot of calories. It really isn't. Um, I don't remember all the details on it, but I, I had three of those little balls, and I know it comes up to about 100 calories only for three balls. So I had three of those, and then uh, she also freezes dates. So there's dates, those have a little bit more calories. So they're dates with a little bit of real peanut butter in the date. So she takes out the pit, puts a little bit of peanut, peanut butter inside, and wraps up again with some dark chocolate, dipped in dark chocolate, frozen. Dates can add up, so dates, so I'm probably looking at my snack, I'm probably looking at about 250 calories. So overall, I think yesterday I had about, had about 1300 calories, but a good solid 13 hour, ate quite a bit during the day, and I was absolutely full once that was done. So I think that is a big success. Now I know I was, I was saying that I was aiming to eat less than a thousand calories the first three days, but it, it was tough. It was a tough one yesterday, and I think doing it this way uh, it was very, very good. And uh, yeah, like I said, I felt full. That's the important thing. I felt full, and uh, I felt like I, I had a full day of eating, which was a good feeling too, right? By snacking healthy snacks. That being said, I don't want to snack too often at night. I don't, uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I do. The way I'm losing weight and the way I want to keep doing. Uh, moving on forever is I want to do intermittent fasting, right? That I like that. I like my, I eat only between about 11.30 and 5.30. And then that's it. And that's it. I think if I can maintain that, I can't put on weight. I just can't. Unless I really eat complete garbage in that six hour window, I don't see how I could put on weight. Because if I'm not snacking at night, that's fantastic. If I'm not eating my breakfast, because anyone that, that knows me, my breakfast is not a healthy one. I don't eat eggs. I don't. I don't like it. If I, the only way I eat eggs, if it's in a McMuffin, and it comes with a sausage and, and and hash brown this and that. That's how I eat my breakfast. So I have a thousand calories of complete junk in my body, you know, within an hour of being up. So if I can skip that, all the better, and uh, and that. So how do I feel today? Uh, right now it's a little bit past seven. I uh, I'm a little bit hungry. But not much. Like my stomach, I can feel my stomach is a little hungry. But at the same time, uh, that feeling that I enjoy, where I feel a little bit lighter, is uh, I'm feeling that right now. And that's that's I like feeling like that, where I have a little bit of a bounce in my step, which is nice. And I can already tell just by starting. Uh, and I only started Monday, so we're, we're like we're, we're just two days. So I started two days ago, basically. This is the third day that we're starting. And I already feel a little bit looser in my clothes. And I feel it because I'm going to the restroom quite a bit. So I'm peeing more than I'm drinking. And I'm drinking a lot, right? I'm drinking, so this is, the, this. I think this is probably 750 milliliters. I'm going to be drinking at least four of these today. So I, I want to get a lot of water in me. And I am going to the bathroom a lot. So I know the scale, like I said, I was trying to aim. I'm hoping to get 280 by Monday whenever I do my next weigh-in. I know that seems like a big drop since I was 294. I'm telling you now, at this rate, I'm gonna make it. Because I can feel it. I can feel that I'm going to the bathroom a lot. So all the junk is starting to get flushed out of my system, which is good, but it just goes to show, and I'm eager to see. I, I, I'm saying that I'm gonna hit 280. I, I, I can't promise that, but I have that feeling. It feels like it, and I'm not weighing myself. I don't wanna cheat, I don't wanna, I wanna see it like you guys, you know? I want to see if I want to see if I I don't I shouldn't need a scale to know that I'm doing the right thing. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Now I know it's fun for the videos. You guys get to see the progress every day. Oh, he had a good day. Oh, he had a bad day. I get that. I get that. But ultimately, I want to step away a little bit from that because it, when I'm, whenever I do weigh myself every day, and it goes up 0.1, or it just went down 0.1, even if I had a good day, I get disappointed, and that kind of affects my day. And if it affects my mood, starts me off on the wrong foot. But the opposite is true too. If I if I drop three pounds in a day, I feel fantastic. So there's a balance there. But anyway, we're gonna give it a shot at once a week. I'll see how that goes, and uh, and then we'll adjust. But I, I, I am assuming if by doing it once a week, I can't be disappointed, right? Uh, unless I've had it uh, the the month I've had in January so far, then I, yeah, I guess I can get disappointed. But uh, yeah, as long as I stick to my plan and I have a lot of self-discipline, um, I should be okay. So how do I feel about being off Sixenda? I'm only a few days in, 
right? So it's not, uh, I can't really say much yet. I mean, I stopped six a week ago, but I went on a trip, I, I, I ate all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm not really counting that so much. How do I feel about six Zenda now that I'm putting in an effort to lose weight? It makes me wonder if, because uh, I know whenever I started six Zenda, it was in full effect. I know I was saying how if I would overeat, I would get nauseous, this and that. That went away probably after three or four months. And then after that, I, I kind of stopped, restarted, and it, I lost a bunch of weight again. But I never got that feeling back of the whole nausea thing. And I'm curious if I really got, <clears throat> excuse me, if I really got the benefit of restarting Sigzenda. Now that I see what it's like restarting without Sigzenda, it's pretty similar. So, you know, we're gonna learn these things together on the way, you know, I was I was saying for the longest time, hey man, if you just restart, you'll see it, it, it helped me lose 20, what was it, 25 pounds in a month or something like that. Well, we're gonna find out, we're gonna find out now, starting Monday there, that we just, uh, two days ago, let's see how much weight I can lose in the next month. Is it gonna be similar without Sigzenda? If it is, then you know what, maybe I really did stop getting the whole effect of Sigzenda and it was just my effort that helped me lose the weight and not really Sigzenda. Or maybe maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe in a week, the hunger will just be unmanageable and then uh, and then I'll have to go back on Sigzenda. Who knows? I have no idea. But uh, yeah, I'm really trying to not go back. So that's where, I, that's where I'm heading and I will see. So, all right, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, and I will see you tomorrow for another update. Take care.